You know, it's easier than ever for your life to go down the tubes these days with just one errant message, post, or call. Hey, thanks, technology. I'm Brian Cooley with top five personal digital disasters and some ways to keep them from happening. We're going to rank these roughly by their potential payload for catastrophe. Let's get to it. Number five, misposting across your social media. It's a mouthful, but I can't help the stupid stuff you post and tweet. This is about the things on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn that shouldn't commingle, but sometimes they do, with disastrous consequences, like this recent debacle. As you can imagine, that was not supposed to show up as an official tweet from Chrysler. The guy who posted it and the ad agency he once worked for no longer handle Chrysler's social media. If you're using one of those cross-platform social tools like TweetDeck, as he was, ask yourself first, is the cross-contamination risk really worth the modest convenience of rolling up all your accounts into one interface where you're just one toggle away from disaster? Number four, reply all. Yeah, it's old school, but still a beauty. The inadvertent reply all has made more bowels turn to water than any other screw up on this list. In fact, a former head of HR here at CNET had her intelligence critiqued by a former employee of mine, and yes, she was on the reply thread. So instead of CCing the person you're dissing, remove the reply all button from the toolbar on Outlook. It's not hard to do. You can still reply all with Control shift r Now on Gmail and Yahoo, they're a little better in this respect, since reply all is a drop down instead of a straight click as it is for reply, so different behavior. But if you use Gmail's keyboard shortcuts, that can get dicey. So check out Molly's how-to video on customizing those, and then you can make the reply all keystroke something you'd never mistake for the reply keystroke, and therefore enjoy the continued benefits of employment. Number three, butt dialing. Now, with the advent of capacitive touch screens, which require an actual finger press, it's not really butt dialing anymore, but errant touch dialing, nonetheless. I could raise your hair with a few stories I know along these lines. Most smartphones today are all screen. You can hardly pick one up without activating something. Auto lock doesn't always save you due to lock delays and such. On Android phones, there are apps like Not Call Log or Do Not Call. They're basically crude roadblocks. But hey, if it avoids this, it's worth it. Number two, this one's kind of new and fresh. Checking in when you're checked out. If you tell the office you're <coughs> sick, and then they see you checked in at the ball game, or the beach, or the bar, you've gone Bueller. So before setting out on a great day of hooky, remember to drop the Foursquare and Facebook check-in habit. Stick a post-it note on your phone if you have to. You gotta go dark. And don't forget to turn off the background locators like Google Latitude, or you'll be chatting up the dude from the Chrysler thing in the unemployment line. Okay, our number one personal digital disaster, just about anything while drunk. Email, text, calls, tweets, updates. After a bender, have you ever really not cringed at those the next morning? And let's not forget the Facebook pictures that result. Pictures of you vomiting, touching yourself, wearing a Nazi outfit, all tagged with your identity for easy searching and career ending. <laughs> A lot of folks forget you can untag yourself from Facebook photos. Just click the little untag link next to your name. Doesn't mean somebody won't go in and tag you there again, but you know, you're not really that popular. For more top fives like this, go to top5.cnet.com. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching.